Forget Star Wars. This is no longer science fiction. The age of laser warfare has truly begun, not on screen, but on the steel decks of the U.S. Navy. The pH zoo of the movies has been replaced by an invisible, deadly beam of light, fired at a cost of just one dollar. Why now? Because the battlefield has changed. The new enemy is not a billion dollar cruiser. It is a swarm of two thousand dollars drones. And firing a two million dollar interceptor missile at a two thousand dollar drone is an economic equation that leads to bankruptcy. The Navy needs a weapon with infinite ammo as long as the ship has power. And now it is in action. A hostile drone appears. There is no explosion, just a high energy, invisible beam converging a searing heat onto a single point. Within seconds, the drone's sensors are burned out, its shell melts, and it silently falls into the sea. But the Pentagon is not the only player in this film. The chess game has spread globally. China is rushing into this race with a massive resource. They are also deploying Silent Hunter laser systems on their destroyers, determined not to let the U.S. monopolize the death ray. Russia, meanwhile, is playing a different, more sinister game. Their Paris Vet laser system is not aimed at drones. It is a massive ground-based strategic weapon designed for one purpose: to blind the enemy's reconnaissance satellites in orbit. They are not trying to burn the ship; they are trying to blind the eyes of the fleet. Even Japan, threatened by missiles from North Korea, is pouring money into equipping high-energy lasers on their Aegis destroyers as a new economic shield. All of them are facing the same. Staggering challenge. Shooting down a slow-flying drone is one thing. The holy grail of this war is to destroy a missile. This is a completely different beast. A missile is a sturdy metal tube hurtling towards you at three, even five times the speed of sound. The issue is not the power of the beam. The issue is timing. To destroy it, the laser beam must maintain perfect convergence, absolute stability, on a target as small as a coin. Like the guidance system, for several seconds. But that target is screaming through the atmosphere. Any vibration of the ship, any disturbance of air or moisture, will scatter the beam. It's like trying to use a magnifying glass to burn an ant while the ant is strapped to a bullet in flight. The age of laser warfare has not just begun; it has triggered a desperate global arms race. It is a race between directed energy and super hard materials. Between the speed of light and the speed of an incoming warhead, a battle where the winner will be the one who masters physics.